Good morning guys on Frequented World, back in the swamp checking the uh, trail cams. I saw the first buck of the season coming in the other day, uh, right down the driveway. So, don't know if we have anything on the cameras here or not, but uh, the bucks are starting to move anyway. So, I've put out some bait for the fisher and whatever else, the fox, and uh, all that's left to do is check the cameras and see what's there. Mmm, smorgasbord. We've got pork chops, hummus, uh, scrambled eggs, and there was Chicago mix, which had um, orange cheddar popcorn and caramel popcorn. So I just checked the footage of the log cam and apparently the camera is not pointed in the right place. That uh, is not the first time that's happened, so I'm just heading back out to adjust the camera, try to point it down at the bait a little more. But we did get some really cool footage of a weasel, and he's dragging away chunks of pork chop that are as big as him. I kind of had to laugh when I saw that, but uh, he's fed for the next two weeks anyway, so enjoy the clips, guys. Good morning guys, it's Frosty. Um, just heading out to check the trail cams and go for a little hike. I've uh, got the 500mm mirror lens with me and hoping to get some shots for this week's video. Um, I'll show you guys, I'm also trying out a new product that I bought the other day, some new boots. Neoprene boots. Hunt Shield. Well, the first thing I can say is in my line of work, uh, fashion has never been uh, top priority, so thank goodness there. But um, So these are neoprene. They're, they've got a Thinsulate uh, liner in them that's like built right in. And they're nice and tight on your legs to keep the heat in. Um, and they flex. So when you're walking, th the back of your heel actually folds in really nice. So they're super comfortable. Um, I just don't know how this fold right here is going to last. Uh, I can see that wearing out pretty quick, but I might be wrong. I don't know. One year exchange at Canadian Tire, they're on for 89 bucks, guys, so uh, they are very comfortable. I wear the Kamek style uh, rubber boot and they're very stiff when you're walking. Um, they're warm and they're dry, but they're, they've always been stiff, so these are super flexible. I'll let you guys know in a few months uh, if I wear them out or not. My wife finds camo sexy. And in more disappointing news this week, uh, Best Buy cancelled my order for the case of 10... Uh, Bushnell HD Nature View cameras that I ordered. Um, no explanation. Um, when I called them, they said, oh, your payment didn't go through, which was absolutely not true. I used uh, PayPal, and you can't screw that up. And I bought two laptops off of them for our business in uh, the last couple of weeks, and I used the same PayPal account. So I asked them to look into it, and they said, oh, we'll check that out. Ten minutes later, they came back and said, oh, well, the truth is uh, we're out of stock. But I don't think that was the truth either because this item is gone from the store. It doesn't say out of stock. Um, I checked the order four days in a row before um, they canceled it and every day it said in stock. So I think it was a pricing error. Uh, these things were under a thousand bucks for a case of 10 and each camera is usually 350 bucks. So uh, I tried to get uh, something from them and uh, all they would offer me is if the item ever comes back on available again on the site they would give me 10% off and I said that's absolutely ridiculous so just another case of as a consumer guys I feel that uh, it doesn't matter what you spend on a company like I spent close to 2,000 bucks on those laptops it doesn't mean anything to them you know they can cancel your order uh, there's just I don't know what to say it shouldn't be allowed to happen 
but as a consumer we have no recourse. So frustrating guys, but uh, we are not beaten. What we're gonna do is, I own a GoPro, I spent a lot of money on that camera. We're gonna buy a close-up lens for that, and we're gonna try to use the 600 meter remote, set up some camera traps, and try to get uh, close-up shots with the GoPro. So, Best Buy, we don't need you. Okay guys, so I've been thinking about these cameras and this new mounting system and how the cameras spin, even when you tighten up this bottom thread. Um, into the bottom of the camera as tight as it'll go. Um, I think the easy fix is to put a little nut on this quarter inch thread under here and then everything should seat down nice and tight. 